what's going on man you know what it is you know who it is all right man i will say i disagree with floyd on this point about roman chocolate tito gonzalez being the number one pound for pound hell no nah. look man no disrespect to chocolate tito but can we all be honest y'all anybody that's listening to this video can we be honest that none of us heard of chocolate tito till last year most of us and none of us heard of him or saw him till they put him on hbo for the first time last year and that nobody was checking for that weight class that he fought in can we at least be honest with each other can we keep it 100 please because i'm gonna be honest with you to everybody that's listening i never heard of chocolate tito till i saw him last year on hbo and i follow boxing thoroughly and i never heard of that dude when he made his hbo debut i can't remember who was on the card with him that was the first time i had ever saw that dude and i'm keeping it 100. i didn't follow him i didn't follow that weight class he was in that was the first time i saw that guy so can we be honest with each other man and let's just cut the shit just because Jim Lampley say he's pound for pound, like somebody give a fuck what he think, that don't mean I have to agree with him. First of all, until Floyd retired, on many people's lists, Andre Ward was ranked number two pound per pound. How did that change? How does Floyd retire and then he gets dropped down to number four? You know what I'm saying? Come on, man. Let's just keep it real, man. And don't give me that inactivity bullshit, man. You know what I'm saying? Did Andre Ward ever officially retire? No. He was hurt. Okay, I'll give you another example. Mikey Garcia hasn't fought in over, over a year, going on two years. He's still pound for pound top ten. He hasn't lost a fight. Neither has Andre Ward. Just because you're not fighting don't mean you should lose your, your stature. And somebody that's fighting nobody's and knocking out people, they get bumped up into the top 10. You go by who you're fighting in the competition. You know what I'm saying? And for Roman Chocolate Tito Gonzalez to get hiked up to number one by fighting basically people we never heard of, that's just a joke. And like I say, this is nothing against him. It's just a joke. People are trying so hard. For it to be anybody but a brother, man. Anybody but the brother, man, in boxing. Anybody but the black. You know what I'm saying? I mean, let's just cut the shit, man. The dude ain't ain't number one pound for pound, man. Okay, it's like this. Michael Jordan retired. I can't even keep up how many times Michael Jordan retired, man. So, you know what I'm saying? Even when Michael Jordan retired the first time. Yes or no, wasn't he considered the best player on the planet? And he retired. And when he came back a year and a half later, the first time, he was still considered the best basketball player on the planet. Okay, that's what I'm talking about. So how is it that Ward, just because he doesn't fight for a couple of years, he loses his stature as number two pound per pound it's not like he lost a fight in between him being inactive exactly i mean come on man let's let let let's keep it 100 man let's keep it 100 now i know somebody probably gone type because i know how predictable you guys are and i'm finna answer that and i'm finna already come with a come back to that i know somebody gonna say well he's been active and he need to quit fighting bums well just remember last year he tried to fight the monster remember you know the one that y'all the, the the monster you know triple g yeah remember he tried to fight him and y'all begged andre ward to stay the hell away from him so don't talk about him fighting the bum you know what i'm saying he tried to fight you know triple g you know the the russian guy that supposed to be the most feared boxer on the planet which he ain't yeah, remember, he tried to fight him. Remember, Triple G didn't want the fight. Yeah. Okay, so that's my reply to the, the bum shit. 
because I know y'all gonna say he fighting a tomato can, you know. But the other guy, the Russian guy, didn't fought like pretty much thirty four tomato cans and B level fighters. Yeah, but anyway, man, that's my um stance on that, man. Ward is uh num- number one, man. Until Ward loses, he number one pound for pound. If Sergey Kovalev beats Andre Ward in the super fight later on this year, then he gets bumped up to number one. Straight up. Or if Andre Ward, since he posed to fight two fights before he fights uh, Kovalev, if he loses somewhere down the line, then, you know what I'm saying, then we can have that discussion about him getting bumped down. But until then, Ward is number one. I'm out.